The way you see this depends on whether you're buying or selling. The Conference Board of Canada calls Saskatoon's housing market pretty weak after two years of low commodity prices and job losses. Wonder who lives in all those new condos? Often nobody does. Right now, Saskatoon has 370 brand new condos which are finished and sit empty. Last year, there were 175. Over 20 years, the average is 84. I understand that, that, the few, that Saskatoon's economy may have turned, or, or it may be in the process of turning, but if it, if it were my money, I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be investing in, in apartments in Saskatoon right now. Single family homes sell more easily. The conference board calls Saskatoon a buyer's market though, with prices that are softer than last year's. That could be why real estate investors are taking a closer look at this city. If you are going to be buying and you are going to be parking some capital in there, now's a good time to be patient and pick the right property rather than just go buy any property like you could five years ago. Being patient if you can afford it in Saskatoon may pay off. The idea is buy low, sell when things go up. Just don't expect any kind of recovery to look like what happened during the boom. The Conference Board of Canada's forecast for Saskatoon next year calls for decent but unspectacular growth. Jennifer Cannell, CBC News, Saskatoon.